What's up guys, so today I'm back with another video. In today's video, um, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to ollie. Um, so yeah, um, I'll pretty much go through the basics. And I hope you um, learn from this video. If you don't know how to ollie, or if you do know how to ollie, well, maybe you can improve them by watching this video. So if you didn't understand what the slow motion video was for, it was for um, to show you what the process is to doing an ollie where you pop and you drag your finger and then level it out and land. Like you don't have to level it out all the time um, when you're starting. You can just do like rocket ollie, just like little short ollies. And um, I know this is a horrible tip. But um, when I started, I did it with three fingers because it made it kind of easier. So um, if you want, you can start with three fingers. But afterwards, I recommend going back to two. Like, you can fingerboard with three fingers. I don't care. It's just that most people do it with two. So if you want to do it with three at the beginning and then change to two, well, that's awesome. So pretty much three fingers, it, like, makes it easier. But when you get to two, you can do it better. And um, in my Tech Tech reviews, I always say that they come with this um, t stand. And you might think the stand's just to like display your board. But you can also use it to like hold your finger to practice your ollies because it makes your ollie, it makes it easier to do ollies because this is holding your finger when you're in the air. So if, um, if you don't have this, it's fine. You can learn the regular way. Or you can get a tech deck and get the stand. I'm pretty sure they still come with stands. Um, I think. Um, so, yeah, this kind of makes it easier. Or you can do it on your leg. So then you go like that. And the thing is that it holds your, the board like that. So you can hold it in the air and not having to worry about gravity. So you just go like that. Um, I guess another tip is, like, going fast. I know people that, friends that have just gotten into fingerboarding, and they go fast. And then they, they're able to do ollies, and that kind of makes it easier. Um, and yeah, um, don't think that you're going to learn it in a day. You'll probably learn it in a week, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a frustrating trick, but you'll get it. Don't worry, just follow these simple steps. And if this video didn't help you, you can search other videos because I bet there's better ones. But this is just um, some basics that I have for y'all. And I really recommend this. Um, but I stress this so I stress this out so much because you have to learn how to ollie first. Like you can learn how to shove it. I'm not um, telling you not to, but if you want to learn more. Um, tricks I recommend learning the ollie because you can do board slides or you can do like 50 50 grams no grams tail slides it's like so many tricks that you can do just by learning how to ollie so that's why I really get recommend learning how to ollie um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and, um, oh, i got to show this to y'all. I've come out with, I came out with some new graphics for my decks. I don't know if you can see that. Let me let it focus. And this is, like, South Park, and it's so sick. Then we got this one. I, I, I thought it was, this one was funny. Bart Simpson and then Sick. I hope y'all don't see it backwards, but... This is another cool one. Mario, the classic, and it says sick. So yeah, these will be in my new decks. So stay tuned. I have a deck in um, that's drying with the lacquer. So I'll show you all that right um, now. Um, so here's the deck. It's split. It's not going to be in the stock because I'm going to this event and I'm going to be selling decks. I'm going to South Session. So if you're going to South Session... Um, I hope to meet you because uh, it'd be cool of me, a fan of mine. And yeah, um, my rounding has been getting so much better, as you can see. 
um, don't like worry about the top play. It's just dirty, but I need to put lacquer on it and sand down all that dirty stuff. But once I put lacquer, it'll look um good. Let's see, I want to show you. Oh, I made a custom for my friend. He bought one from me. Look, that's how nice the top play gets after I put the lacquer. So yeah, that's what I need to do with this board. And then it'll look nice. This is just custom. It's just a rip and dip board. So, yeah, really sick board. And um, if you're watching this video, it's a really nice board. Um, so, yeah, tape. So, um, that was pretty much it. Just, like, updating you on my decks. And I'm not sponsoring. I'm sorry. Please don't ask me because I don't want to get mad with y'all. Um... But I just don't want y'all to ask me. I might sponsor after I sell a few boards. Because I, I can't sponsor you if I don't sell some boards. So I need to sell some before I can sponsor. So yeah. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.